inhale, it's, it's extremely bitter. Um, maybe I just haven't had it for a way. But anyway, that's not why I'm here, to talk about how much I like inhale. Um, so, as you know, uh, my name is Carolyn Drumsta. I've been a volunteer at the Worker Center since last October. I actually got the Occupy movement to thank for my involvement with the Worker Center. There was a candlelight vigil in town in solidarity with the occupiers, and uh, that's where I met Kira Lewis, our women founding organizer, and I just sort of, yep, <laughs> Kira Lewis, got involved from there. Um, the Worker Center is a democratic, member-run, grassroots organization, um, and we advocate for the needs of ordinary people. Uh, in recent years, we've spearheaded a few successful campaigns, um, and we've made headway in a number of others. So, uh, as Vicky was just mentioning, um, perhaps the greatest achievement has been the Healthcare is a Human Right campaign. I'm sure by now most of you know that uh, Vermont has passed a single payer healthcare law. It's a little bit unceremoniously known as Act 48. Um, but it actually is a really big deal because it's not just another law. Act 48 specifically defines medical care as a human rights principle, which is kind of a big deal in America. Um, as I'm sure you, you all totally know. Um, and it was, a, it was a big achievement getting the law passed, but making sure that it's properly enacted um, will require constant vigilance. So we're still working on that. Um, and, uh, but that's not the only thing we're doing. So um, after Tropical Storm Irene, I'm sure you all have your own stories, we all do. Um, mobile home residents, in addition to losing everything they had, uh, they were told that they would have to pay out of pocket, sometimes you know, as much as $4,500, which you know, uh, might as well be $100,000 for some people, um, to have their, their destroyed homes removed, that they would have to pay out of pocket for this. So rather than accept that, um, many of them joined with the Worker Center um, to not only petition the state to meet their needs, uh, but to make a documentary film called The Strength of the Storm, which has since been screened in towns all over Vermont, and in fact, all over the country, which is really cool. Um, and uh, we're continuing to work with them. The Brattleboro Organizing Committee had a screening last month. Maybe some of you were there, I don't know. Um, be cool if you were. Um, <laughs> if not, I definitely recommend seeing the film. Uh, lately, the Worker Center has been organizing um, the Put People First campaign, which is Okay, um, so the Put People First campaign asks for a real democracy um, that puts the needs of ordinary people, regular people, uh, that makes them a priority. Um, those needs can include but are not limited to jobs, education, health care, child care, affordable housing, um, things like that. If I didn't mention your cause, it doesn't mean it's not included. Um, the people's budget. Uh, takes these needs into account, and by mobilizing thousands of people across the state, uh, we've successfully changed the conversation on the state budget uh, to make it more about people and less about, you know, business and other things that are just less important to people like you and me. Um, so just a few days ago, uh, we had a huge rally in Montpelier um, that, uh, you know, was uh, demanding, you know, at the state house. Uh, demanding a people's budget and, you know, all of our human rights and all that good stuff. Uh, everything we've accomplished has been at the grassroots level. That includes really simple things like calling our legislators and writing letters to our local editors to more creative visibility, uh, uh, raising, you know, awareness media campaigns like um, the, the Strength of the Storm or uh, what I was working on on May 1st at the rally, uh, the Stories Project, where we put a face to these needs by having people tell their personal story uh, on camera for a minute or two. So for example, mine would be, I'm Carolyn Drumsta, I graduated from college, I gave my job. Um, I mean, except, you know, a little better. <laughs> Just having, even having a few people in these red shirts uh, sitting in on committee meetings at the state house just to let them know that we're still watching and listening to what they're doing. Um, that makes a profound impact because, you know, then it sort of brings things into the public. Um, and, of course, these things are all organized at a local level. The, the people at Montpelier on the first, they didn't just descend upon the town. They were all brought together from local communities like this one um, into this larger thing. So, what's next? Ideally, 
we would like to get um, everyone here, all of you, um, involved in this movement for people and the planet. Um, we want to live in a world where everyone has healthy food, jobs with dignity, uh, and safe, affordable housing, even in the face of climate change, especially in light of our rain. Um, and by all means, join our organizing committee. Uh, there's definitely room for you. There's room for people of all talents and interests. Um, and uh, outside, when you go out for lunch, which I know I'm keeping you from, um, <laughs> when you go out for lunch, there's some uh, information, some pamphlets, and a little sign-up sheet. So if you want more information on the Worker Center, write it down. I promise we won't like, spam you with things. It's just you know, so you can get some information if you want to learn more about this movement. Um, or you can come talk to me uh, if you're interested in doing that. Um, so everyone has something to add. So uh, please sign the sign sheet or, or take some information. It's really good to know that uh, you're helping us build this movement. So thank you very much, and I'll take some nasty gamble with me. <laughs>